What up, Bash RC fans, and happy Sunday to you. Here is a sneak peek at the Claude tractor. It's getting close to being done. Still got some bugs to work out of it. As you can see, I've got most of the body mounted on, wheels and tires on, and the aluminum frame on. And the mower got a new look too. It also got some wheels. I put some buggy tires on it to help it get through the rough terrain that I'll be pulling it through. And as you can see, there is a wire coming out of the tractor, which is right here. Let's get it for you. That connects to the uh, motor right here. The motor is rated for 20 volts. It came from an electric heart fan from Walmart. And I'm running it on 12 volts, so I don't know how good it's going to do, but we'll definitely find out. I hope it cuts the grass. The main goal is to cut the grass. If you're wondering what's underneath, here is some Wheat Whacker blades. They fit right on the adapter that's on the motor. Spin perfectly, so I hope they cut the grass. If we do break these, they're very cheap. I do have 10 more that came in the package. So believe me, once it cuts the grass, I will make a video and show you guys it totally working, which will be totally awesome. How I'm gonna power this whole machine, as you can see inside, there's a 12 volt battery. There's the ESC, a 1060, and a Spectrum receiver. Here's a little uh, box thing. I just can't think of the name of these things. The uh, ESC wires are going in and then coming out of here and going down to the motor. The motor is a 12, no, no I'm sorry, not a 12, a 27 turn stock Claude Buster motor that comes in every Tamiya kit. Should be just enough power to uh, power this machine. Here is the clips from the end of that wire. They just go on the positive and negative of this 12 volt. I got this 12 volt at international international interstate battery sorry interstate battery and they were it was about 20 bucks and supposedly this can be charged over a thousand times so that would be just perfect one of my ideas is to do run 24 volts to that motor and see if they can handle it but that's in the future we first just got to do a normal test run which we're getting very close to doing this machine keeps getting done and then there's bugs and then I fix one more bug and then I say I'm gonna run it and then another bug happens uh, it's horrible if any of you guys know when you do RC's you run them and then you gotta fix them you run them and then you gotta fix them just depends on how hard you beat on your RC cars I try to have one RC car running every time I fix another one so there's always one running no matter what and if you're also wondering about this beautiful paint job my beautiful wife did the paint job she is an awesome painter if you're listening thank you you are awesome love you dearly the other thing I'm trying to figure out is right here there is a space in here and the ends of the u-bolts are coming up there and I'm wondering what to put there if you have any suggestions please put them in the comments below any help would be greatly appreciated um, I'm thinking maybe a uh, makeshift engine from like an old Tonker or something to put in there or to close it up completely. I'm just not 100% sure. If you're wondering what this wire is, this other wire is going to go to the battery end, which will go to the 7.2 pack. It's running XT60 connectors or yeah, XT60 connectors. The other thing I'm trying to figure out is if I want to put lights on the front or not, or just to have my beautiful wife paint lights on the board to make it look like there's lights i'm just not sure yet and you can actually see that um angle aluminum for the frame makes it much stronger and should hold up a lot better than the wood i had originally had wood if you've been following this with me but i was worried that the torque of this machine would just snap or crack the wood so i went with some uh, aluminum to make it a little bit stronger so guys if you like what you see Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't worry, there'll be more videos of this coming out very soon. I hope to have a test run video for you guys next week. That's my goal. I know it's getting close to the end of summer. This took almost three months to build, which is insane. So like I said, if you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you have a great night. Stay cool, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.